Mr. Massey's group? Okay. See, they, they provide me the opportunity to tell a few jokes. Oh, hi, Mr. Massey, how are you? All right. Where's, where's your band? Waiting to come out. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Mark Massey recording studio combo. One of the great delights when I arrived on campus four years ago was walking in to a classroom and seeing Professor Massey at the helm. So we're very fortunate to have him. This is the recording studio combo because they rehearse in the recording studio. Recording studio. Thank you. Welcome then. Let's see, I wanted just to say a few things. Uh, I can still list it because I didn't want to forget uh, and leave anything out. Um, first of all, this group is a little bit different from a, a lot of the other groups in that everything they've learned, if you notice there's no music, they've learned everything by ear. So that's kind of a different approach. Uh, I mean, all, all musicians learn by ear to some degree. I mean, even if you're reading music, you're learning, because you're listening and, and, and uh, learning music that way. You're shaping the notes a certain way, you're listening to the directors, listening to the people next to you. Right? But in this case, I'm just you know playing things and say, play it back. And they have to kind of figure it out. So um, I'm really proud of them. It's a larger group than I've had in the past, 11 people in here. So uh, um, I'm, I'm Part of the approach here, too, <clears throat> you might see me running around kind of like a madman here, kind of pointing and waving my hands and acting self-important. And um, what I'm really doing is that uh, I'm, I'm actually just cueing solos. I don't even know who's going to play one solo when. I'm just kind of doing it. So I get, I get to, to uh, be in on the party and be one of the improvisers. You know, a person kind of pointing, pointing out who, who plays when, so that's, that's going to be kind of a fun thing. So we're kind of making it up as we go, right? Um, let's see, uh, and this, this year, uh, this is like every, every other year, I always get to name my students with new names. <laughs> so you get to hear their names. Here we go. Uh, on clarinet, we have... Um, Melissa Ben Den Notes Jordan. Uh, on guitar, we have Analog Anthony Castagna. And uh, we have Matt Hip Licks Fam. Uh, and let's see, Alexa Zwickel here, she's, uh, she's got this incredible saxophone that fixes itself. It keeps breaking down, so I've, 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 her new name is Alexa and her magic saxophone Zwickle. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, Ethan, Ethan's middle name is uh, Mo. He plays the drums, so I've, I've, I've called him Ethan Mo Funky Abrams. Okay. And uh, let's see. Uh, we got Shelby Wawa Ogasawara <laughs> playing trumpet. Uh, she plays the she plays the Wawa you know, on the uh, with the trumpet there. And uh, it's important for you to know that that Ogasawara in Japanese um, it it means honorable theory monster. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of where that came from. Uh, Clara Rosenberg is playing the piano. I'm very proud. Uh, Clara, she's been here in, uh, since seventh grade, uh, and uh, you can hear. Uh, I, I have a new name. I have a name for her. Uh, you'll you'll hear why. It, the last piece we're playing is a kind of a salsa piece. So this is uh, Clara Rosenberg's. I, I call her Clarita Josefina Rosa Montana. <laughs> is that okay? Um, <laughs> Let's see, and I gave Dylan Sweet on the trombone, I gave him the new name, he's got Dylan, his middle name is Sounds. Sweet. 
Okay. Uh, and uh, let's see. Chris Liu on the trombone is now Chris Immovable Dough. <laughs> Lou, this is one inside jokes. Okay, and um, on the bass we have uh, uh, Jacob uh, Mode Shredder Partita. Uh, that's an inside joke. Okay. So anyway, we're going to play a tune called, this is called Freddy the Freeloader. This is from a Miles Davis record. Um, called Kind of Blue, it's probably one of the most famous jazz tunes in the last 50 years. Uh, here we go. Thank you. 
by Duke Ellington. Uh, actually, actually, it's written by a guy named Juan Tizal, who was uh, Duke Ellington's uh, about trombone player. Actually, wrote this. Uh, we'll, uh, we're going to do a kind of a salsa version of this um, called Caravan. Oh.
been together for their first combo. How about that? Fantastic. We're both calling. We're going to say. Thank you. Mark Nassie. We're going to take a...